I know I can tell. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Just give me, give me a few minutes here. I'm taking care of everything. Go to my channel. I mean, that's why I'm clicking on you. There you go. Dang. Alright. I made sure everything's set up. That's thing. There we go. That's better. Sound check. Good. Face is uh, in a great deal of pain. Good. This water smells like ass. Bad. Okay. It took a minute to draw out a visual aid in in a uh, hexagonal layout with the syndicates, so that I could attempt to level all six of them. So earlier I took my, um, uh, hold up, before I even get started with this, let me give you some background. After you complete a certain, uh, mission for each faction, uh, in, in the quest line of the game, you complete a certain quest for each faction, they give you a sigil. I'll go and I'll show you. Just a standard looking sigil. Doesn't say that it uh, does anything special. So that, that's the assassin sigil I bought from uh, what you call it angry uh, fidget spinner guys. I took that off and I put on this Arbiters of Hexes sigil. There's a Samara sigil that that'll work. Cephalon Suda that'll work. Um, where's the others? New Loka, Hair and Sequence, Red Veil. Even though they don't have the little markers next to them that say they give uh, extra stuff, like that one right there. Uh, there's still Meridian. There's there's a good. Even though they don't have the little marker in the corner, like this one. Doesn't have the marker in the corner like this one right here. Even though it doesn't have that, it'll still get you standing so that you can pull yourself out of the negative or the faction if you want. That's one of the reasons why those missions are there, why they give you the sigils. And here's another visual aid for everyone. Uh, the, the negative's right here. I'm negative with Arbiters of Fuckus and Cephalon Suckadick. However, as you can see on that uh, post-mission screen, I already pulled a, a rabbit out of my ass and got some positive standing, which countered that negative, and now it's not negative 44,000. So I'm aiming to do that with Arbiters of Hexus and Cephalon Suda. I'm aiming to rank all of them up equally at the same damn time. 
Someone else already proved you can do four, and you can do it efficiently. I've hypothesized you can do all six, although it would be a pain in the fucking ass. Now, I'm just fucking testing it. So I did a, um, I did a mission for one or before, which one did I do? I did, uh, Angry Fidget Spinner Boys, and then I just recently did the, uh, Parent, Perry the Platypus sequence. So the next one I need to do... I need to do a new Loka one with the Arbiters of Hexus sigil equipped because new Loka is neither opposed, allied, or an enemy of Arbiters of Fuckus. So I need to do a new, uh, new Loka. Theoretically, this is going to help. Theoretically. <coughs> no, I'm in a, um... I'm in a small predicament at current as of right now at this very moment I am going to lose my gold so I won't be able to do fucking stream recordings this is a mobile defense after the seven you must deliver so. payloads and defend and locations while I break into the I'll network find somebody to be prepared for heavy some, resistance uh, I can't do this some without money you. to get some gold with. I'm gonna be shit out of luck for making more dipshit content. Fuck it. Nobody fucking cares. Nobody's gonna prove me otherwise. This will only get more difficult. Get to a terminal and prepare for enemy resistance. Kites to me. What I do? I don't want your kites. Stop running away from me, you're just gonna die tired, motherfucker. Come on. Technically it was door stuck on the side. Nope. But that's a cut in the semana, okay. There. Shooting me, you're gonna kill me. Is that what you want? That's 
shit in one hand and fart in the other to see which one gets full of something the fastest. Spoilers, it's the handy shit in Once you had a prison, you have no solid plans. It's just an idea in your head. You want to get something. Listen, you. I pop one bubble and you get an even angry one. Fuck off. I don't want none of your angry bubble. Fuck off. Seriously, it was disappearing and I run into it? Even after jumping? My well, fuck you. That thing's knockback chance should be decreased as it dissipates over distance. Fuck you. I blame myself for this. If I had destroyed those little piss bars above the doors, I might have some energy right now to summon some minions. Might have some Motherfucker! Stop being a bitch while I'm talking to my teammates. Even though they're NPC. Hey, you. Stay right there. Don't fucking move. You stay, stay right the fuck there. Don't move. I gotta go desecrate some fucking energy up for myself. Never mind. Okay. See you later, guys. By that, I mean the new loco operatives it gave me. You know, I feel like, uh, you know, I'm gonna fucking do it. Support of this channel is made possible by viewers like you. I'm not thanking any of you because I don't have any fucking viewers supporting me. Forget thanks when I get support, motherfuckers. Okay, I Red Veil. Vale. I already did a mission for Red Veil. Vale. I got you know, a thousand or so out of that. So I'm still in the positive with Red Veil vale on their... Uh, Thingy, even though my two missions right now just net negative by about a thousand. Okay. So. Standing as it is now. I'm gonna need to do a mission on Red Veil. Vale. And then another one on New Loka and bounce back and forth. And that'll, um, no, actually, I'm gonna have to bounce back and forth between these three. This one being allied with Still Meridian, it'll boost me with Still Meridian. Yeah, this is gonna be a clusterfuck. Someone's gonna have to do all the math later on. Wrong button, dude. Wait, wrong fucking button. Okay. 
Okay, that'll give me 3,000. That'll be a net positive for that one. Absolutely need to do that to keep the net positive up. Total bananas, man. I'm not doing this for any raisins or bananas other than why the fuck not. This is a mobile defense mission. You must deliver payloads and defend a number of locations while I break into the network. Be prepared for heavy resistance. I can't do this without you. Ooh. Against us too. Oh, even being as drunk as I already am, that stuff burns going down. Yep. I can tell I got the good stuff when it burns. I need to desecrate Anadrika and get minions. Get to a terminal so you poor bastards, I'm going resistance. to kill you. It's nothing personal. But... I need the uh, I need energy and I need minions. Additionally, this guy's fucking yellow as well. That damn noise. I should art to not uh, run into the motherfuckers. Uh, nully bubble. Yep, definitely should art not to have done that. Minions, a same battle. Gonna have to change the color to yellow for that joke. I'll fucking do it too. And actually, I am gonna fucking do it. Fuck you, Nelly bitch. Piss the fuck off, Nelly fuck. Nelly Brian, fuck wits. Right here. Stop yanking me around, you fucking ancient bitch. He's shielding you. Okay, he's not shielding you anymore. You're fucked. Stop shooting me. I don't like you. You're just annoying. Where the fuck were you a few minutes ago? Hell of a time for me to reload. Yep. I should have been looking at that ammo counter for a long time. Did you decide not to move the minions close to me after I regassed? What the fuck, man? I need those damn minions. I need them over here. Not way the fuck over there across the goddamn map.
Well, that's fine and dandy for you to tell me, but... I mean, you should probably tell my minions that, too. They don't seem to want to move their ass when I summon them. Wait, is that the new RNG that D added in? Sometimes your minions will base, sometimes they won't. Is the new Wukong clone going to have its own idealism? And sometimes it'll do what you ask it to, and sometimes it won't. Is that what the fuck's going to happen? I can afford to wait here for just a second. Okay, I'm done being bored. Time to shoot things again. Ow! What the fuck? Minions, you didn't have my back. This puzzle. Fuck it, I might as well show everyone how to do this fucking puzzle all the way. Shit. Okay. That button. And as soon as you hit that button, the other one opens up, so you have to rush back over to it. For everyone who don't know, that's how it do. Still net positive, net positing, positive, net positive ing with the arbiters of fuckers. Okay, I'm still net positive on a parent sequence. Good. Very good. I'll just jump over to uh, uh, a new loco, new loco mission again. Okay, excavation or disruption? Fuck it, I'll go with the excavation. Those are both gonna last uh, the first five. Uh, seven minutes worth. Then I'm gonna book it the fuck out, cause there's no reason to stay in an endless mission type when it's a, a, a syndicate, aka faction based mission. Or something like a gift of the lotus. Or a quest mission. Just, you know, same point I tell everybody. There's no reason to stay in a faction mission. It's an endless type after you've got the uh, evac symbol. After that point, it's more efficient just to get the fuck out of there, even if it's an endless mission.
I got a feeling that if I just, you know, go down here, I'll be fine. Wait, what? Second time this tile set has popped up. This tile. A little entrance with the T junction. The fuck? RNG is just fucking with me right now. Good point, everyone who uh, was thinking of coming. I should have grabbed some of these cells. These power cells. Very good point. Very good point. Let's see how many minions I got. Three? I didn't bother killing that many. M&M's have shown up. Now I need the uh, peanut M&M's. Come on, peanut M&M's. Shut up, Space Mom. I'm well aware of that. Give me your peanuts, M&M's. Minions, Sambar. I could do that Anastasia bit with this mutant. Rise, my minions, unto your last That says it's cool. Time for me to grab a peanut from the M&M's and move off to the next one. I mean, this looks like uh, what people call pro strats, but it's, it's just basic game mechanics. I'm just trusting the game mechanics to function the way I know they function. <laughs> Like, the enemies spawn in within a certain radius of my tune here. That That's just game mechanics. That's how it works. That's how DE and literally every fucking MMO in existence has it programmed. Enemies spawn in within a certain radius of you, the player's character. That's just the fucking way it is. They don't spawn in inside of that certain radius, but starting at that specific radius and going out for a certain amount of, uh, uh extension. A certain amount of meters in-game. Enemies will spawn within a certain radius. The excavator has lost power. Find another cell. Like, everybody knows this shit, but nobody's fucking talking much about it. It's, it's not, uh... 
not something that's commonly talked about. Quite honestly, I think it's because a lot of people are afraid that uh, the game devs would change the mechanic. Uh, game devs, uh, you know, put a comment down below, you know, let everybody know. You can't fucking change that mechanic. They can use it to their advantage. Just let everybody know that. You can't change it. Why? Because if you made it to where people could uh, have enemies spawning in within a certain radius of them, it would be more annoying. People would be whining and bitch about it nonstop. Everybody would say it's too difficult. Excavator destroyed. Protect the remaining sites. I didn't move fast enough. Shit. Oh, 293 is in No. 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 Just no. Similar concept to the last place I was in. It's uncanny now that I'm noticing. Look, Space Mom, I know that the thingy needs another peanut for the, from the M&Ms. Just shut the fuck up. Minions, get the fuck back next to this thing and stay over here next to it. Hold on, hold on. I have a question. E E, why? Uh, yeah, why am I fighting in a level 32 area? And this fucking excavator is a goddamn level one. Why does its level not scale appropriately with the level of the enemies in the area that I'm in? Legitimately, I'm I'm interested as to why that is. Why doesn't the excavator's level scale with the enemies you're in? It, it becomes increasingly more and more difficult to protect them. And there there is no well, um, to put it bluntly, the risk reward just gets unbalanced. It gets skewed. The risk goes higher, and the reward just doesn't move. It stays the same. Same same level of reward. No increase on that one. The difficulty goes up. The risk goes up. So all three of those items, they're imbalanced with each other. Okay, that one, that one. Yeah, I need one more. Unfortunately, I'm gonna need one more. Technically, seven more bits of cryotic, so I can just slap this one down and find out where the fuck the exit's gonna pop up. So anyway, there's three bits of balance with this mission type. The risk to reward ratio and uh, the excavator's health and level not scaling with the uh, health and level of the enemies. Those three things, they're completely fucking unbalanced. Why the fuck is that? Excavator destroyed. Protect the remaining dig sites. I should not have summoned my minions that damn quick. That's my own damn fault, that is.
We need another power cell for the excavator. You die, give me energy. Where's my energy? Either way, I was gonna need to get this one done again. This last excavator. Either way, I was gonna need that. Isolated Bursa. Hey, Isolated Bursa. Can I interest you in a, um, an Amprex? Excavator has run out of power. Find a cell. Apparently, I can't interest this person in it. thing. Fuck it. In order for my mission exit point to show up, I'm gonna have to clear this one, the uh, this excavator, and get the, the hundred out of it, or let it get destroyed. Personally, I'll, I'll go for the extra hundred. I need to cry out of it. And by need, I mean I fucking need the cryotic. Well, no fucking shit I'm gonna choose to leave. This is a faction mission, bitch. I went to Ah, the caves of the ice. We meet the gang. Who the fuck is watching me? Why the fuck is anyone watching me? You move your ass, little boy. Oh, there you go. Brava, still net positives all the way around. You know what, after I get into it and start doing it, it's not so much a pain in the ass as I thought it was going to be. Leveling all six factions, it's not so much a pain in the ass as I thought it was going to be. It's just a matter of... Decide on do this thing and sit the fuck down and do this fucking thing. Okay, still Meridian. Okay, for Cephalon Suda, that is not a net positive. Well, ain't that a bitch. I'm gonna have to revise my strategy yet again. I'm gonna have to work exclusively on getting the Arbiters of Hexus for this one time. And then, you know, shuffle these all the way around and just max one out, get all the stuff out of it, and move to the next one. That's what I'm gonna have to do. I just net negatived on Cephalon Pseudo. <clears throat> okay. After a few missions, uh, even with my little graph I drew up to uh, try and determine which way to balance this situation, and even trying to do it, I'm still going to net negative with at least one faction. So me I've learned at least right now this one faction I'm just not gonna be able to worry about 
so I'll worry about it later. But at least I can worry, work on five, five factions, and keep a net positive with five of them. So I'll just, I'll, I'll worry about Cephalon, suck a dick later, and go with the Arbiters of Fuckus for now. So I'll have to jump back and forth between doing these three factions missions. Just jump back and forth doing it. And just not worry about uh, Cephalon suck a dick over there. So I'm going to have to do Steel Meridian's ally Red Veil vale, to keep them up. And I'm going to have to do Parent Sequences or their ally to keep them up. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. I can do New Loka, Red Veil, vale, and once I get to it, the, um, once I start doing their missions, Arbiters of Fuckus, and then I'll have to worry about the Parent Sequence. I'll have to do all four of these missions. No worries. But for now, Red Veil, New Loka. Okay. Spy mission. And a disruption. I can take that disruption mission. And then, yeah, after that I'll do the spy mission. I need to at least uh, su supply pr supporting evidence to my substantiation of my thesis here by actually doing the fucking missions and seeing what happens. That way somebody somewhere can take all this information and develop a way to do all bloody fucking six factions at once, which I, I'm theoretically putting on paper as possible. It's theoretically possible. The actual numbers, however, I don't know. Will you help us today and our cause? I'll help you, but not your cause. Not yet. Did he say splattered corpus beanstalk? Oh no! You caught me! Me and my little partnership. Cool. Hurt. Lotus when you need her. Wait, what? Now, sniff, sniff, betrayers. See if you can find the cheese. Alad, I did not come here for you. Fuck off. What 
fuck are you? Go away, bitch! supposed to be. These amalgams look like kids were playing with Legos, man. Even when I look at the amalgam mods, the mod cards, they, they look like kids were just throwing shit together. Who the fuck is gonna put... Stupid ass fucking stats together that, that don't even fucking matter. Okay. Fuck off. What was that shot? I don't know what I saw. Yeah, it was like fucking puncture damage and something else. Like sh shot speed. How fast you can fucking shoot. What the fuck am I gonna use that for? Oh, that's mine. Spider, fuck off. Take your trinkets. A small price to pay for a superior product. Yeah, I gotta do one more fucking thing. Oh. Smell that. Newly evolved. Fresh from the oven. Want a taste? Let's see if that shiny Tedo luck holds. would be useful as the mod cards go. If you put a damage type in critical or status instead of fire rate, but with the damage type, put uh, overall damage. Fire rate just don't fucking cut it. There we go. Got him anyway. Now I can bugger the fuck off. These new um, mobile defenses, these are weird. It's just the same mechanics as mobile defense. You're defending a point, and if uh, enemies destroy it, you lose that point. The only difference with this mobile defense is that it goes on indefinitely and you can't, there's no, there's no absolute fail parameter unless you die all, all the times and waste all your revives. It's just infinite uh, mobile defense. Okay, net positive, net positive, red fail. Um, I 
Is that net negativing that? Red fail. Let me look at that. Yeah. So I gotta do a red veil mission. Okay. So I can rank up four. I just gotta do missions for basically every last goddamn one of them. No, five. I can rank up five of them. I just gotta do missions for every last goddamn one of them. So I should have did the fucking red bell one earlier. To keep it from going down that level. <clears throat> This is an extremely, extremely convoluted juggling act. all these fuckers. There'll be no one to push an alarm button to get me detected and the alarm sounded. Will there? Gamer logic. Gamer logic. There's no telling what the captors are doing to our rescue target. Especially looking at the uh, truth here that this is not an infinite mission time. This isn't one of them. These aren't at their baseline gonna spawn in over and over. All I gotta do is kill everybody on my way there. I don't have to worry about the alarms. Or being stealthy. There won't be anybody with the alarms to kill me. I went past, they were literally beneath me. Like physically in the game's three-dimensional space, they were literally beneath me. There was no need to go after them. Alright. Let's see. There's, uh... Yeah, it's thing right here. I wanted to stealth melee that idiot. Oh well, fuck it. This is one more. Look, don't tell me to hurry the fuck up when I'm in the middle of hacking at the door open, okay, bitch? Just distracted me, you fucking whore. Fucking distract. Spy missions. Oh. I was thinking of what I wanted to do next. Rescue missions. Get the idiot, don't give him a weapon, bugger the fuck off. Hey! Bitch! Let go of me! Fuck it. Only have to hack to open the doors back. After I get the guy, the alarms go. I'm I'm not worried. Just book it to the exit. You'll be fine. Negative with arbiters and fuckers. Negative with Perry's uh, platypus sequence. Seriously, yes, I have to. 
do every last fucking one of the, 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 the missions for every last fucking faction if I want to rank up more than four at once. Fuck me, that's a pain in somebody's ass somewhere. There's not a lot of people who want to do that. You know what? For um, high mastery rank uh, players, you know, once you reach a certain mastery rank, in addition to one reason, there's two reasons. First, not just to make mastery rank mean something, but to fucking make it mean something. Second, after you've spent all the time and energy to rank up with these to their maximum, you should get one more. It makes it to where you never lose uh, standing with them unless you're purchasing something from them. That way you can rank up all six at the same time if you want. Or, you know, that way after you finish going through one and maxed it out, you can move to the next and have all six of them that you're allied with. And as far as fitting that into the, the, the lore... Just have a fucking sit down meeting with them. Have a fucking mission where you bring them all together and say, look, you gotta fucking work together or this shit ain't gonna work. You know, a house divided and whatnot. So either go fuck yourselves or work the fuck together. Sound about right to everybody? Because, you know, well, why? Just why not? Just ask yourself, why the fuck not? Why the fuck not bring them all together to work together for everyone's benefit? Why the fuck not? I just lost a bit with another one in parent sequence. Which one was it? Hold on. Last mission results. Arbiters of fuck us. Yeah, I was when I first started uh, several minutes to over an hour ago I was at negative 44 now I'm up to negative 40 I know that's that's an odd way of saying things I'm up to a negative number but in theories not in theories in the uh, practical application of looking at a chart if, if you, you know put a chart on the wall negative goes down so I'm I'm Technically, it's the truth. I'm up to negative 40,000. As far as numbers go. Well, at least I've proved part of my original thesis. So, as, as opposed to leveling all six at the same time, it is possible to work with five at the same time. And I've just substantiated that from going negative 44,000 with Arbiters of Fuckus to negative 40,000 and some change. So it's possible to do more than four factions at once. Is it practical? Probably not. It's probably not even practical to assume you can do all six at once. But it's probably doable. If someone else can do videos or stream on that, the more power to them. They deserve it. If they can figure out the mathematics of the situation to get all six of them. As far as me goes, I can do five at once. Fuck yeah. And to recap, for, for everyone who forget, or for, for people who didn't bother to, to give a fuck early on. Come over here to appearance, go down to regalia, go to whatever sigil. Even though this Arbiters of Hexes sigil doesn't have the thing in the corner, like uh, this sigil, or this sigil, the little thing in the corner, even though it doesn't have this positive number here, like 15, 11, 5, or this one, even though it's just a plain sigil, it doesn't say it has the, the little band in the corner, or the little plus stat uh, thingy down here. Even though it doesn't say that, 
I firmly believe that DE put the regular sigils in there after you complete that faction's mission in the game's quest line to where it gives you standing with them just because you wear it so that you can work on all six of the syndicates. Possibly they, they didn't think all at once like I attempted just then, but they did put that in there for everyone to use so that they can come back up from the negatives. Just swap your sigils around. So there you go. There's the information. And that's how I'd like to take a minute just sitting right here to tell you how I became the Prince of Five Factions. Right, I'm done. I've substantiated part of my thesis, not 100% of it, so I'm going to rewrite my thesis. And my new thesis is, you can rank up with five factions in Warframe at the same damn time. Six, it's not practical. Probably not desirable to try and fuck yourself over by jumping back and forth between faction and faction, but if someone else can prove you can do all six at the same time, you, you go. Fucking more power to you. But for now, I'm done. I'm gonna go have some ice cream to get rid of this headache I've got. Till next time, fuck off everybody.